my name is Scott Bergman. I am a realtor and now a certified Realty One Group coach. Um, so Coach Scott, um, I'm located in Omaha, Nebraska. I've been in the business five years or so. My background before real estate was in social work, believe it or not. So I don't come from a tech background. So if you are on this call um, and, and you simply know the letters SEO, you're in the right place. I promise you'll be able to walk away with a better understanding of what SEO is and how it can help your business. I, SEO feels like something that everybody like talks about, but, but very few like truly understand. We know that we need it on our website, but we don't know how to get it. Am I right? So with this, um, if you were part of my uh, webinar a couple months ago with um, Amy and the, all the lovely agents that she invited, we talked really deep about chat GPT with keywords everywhere. It's an extension. I'll go over it again today. But from that presentation, there was a lot of talk of, how we could use chat GPT and um, uh, keywords everywhere to do a deeper dive in SEO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share my screen um, right now. So this will be on my end. Um, I will go through it chunk by chunk and help everybody understand at minimum what SEO really is, why you need it for your business and how you can use chat GPT and keywords everywhere um, to get a deep dive on your SEA. SEO. So it'll be a portion of me showing you how to operate and then going, um, showing you what it means and then going to show you how it operates um, and how you're executing. So we'll do a little bit of uh, more so tell and then I'll show. Does that make sense? As we're moving along, if you've got specific questions, go ahead and drop them in the chat box um, below. I would try to get done about 15 minutes early, maybe 10 minutes early to allow some space for questions. So with um, without further ado, I'm going to jump right in and give you um, my presentation on SEO. So dominating SEO, SEO point blank is the search rankings. All right. So I talked a little bit about me. Um, I'm going to skip past this. Here's my contact information. If you scan this QR code, you go straight to my in Instagram. If you know me, I'm a follow for follow type guy. Go ahead and click the follow button on my Instagram. I'll follow you back. We can be friends um, and exchange referrals. And of course, at this presentation, if you have uh, questions, feel free to shoot me a DM. I, I like to remain actively accessible. So feel free to scan the QR code um, and uh, add me on the Insta. All right, moving forward. Okay, so all the resources that you're gonna need to then take the training from today and execute. I'm gonna walk you through, this is the kind of the map that you need to be thinking um, and have in front of you so you understand how it all connects. And I'll break that down. And then I'm going to walk you through what items you need to start digging into your SEO. Um, at minimum from this presentation, you will be able to walk away with an understanding of how to get, um, do some keyword research, and then how to go use ChatGPT to add that to your website. Okay. Nobody is going to be an SEO guru after this presentation. So please don't expect that. Simply understand that you will know after this presentation more than likely more than about 80% of your peers. And that is quite a, an influential difference. So here's how it works to, to, to do effective SEO. First and foremost, you need a website. Good news is if you sign on with Realty One, you get your own website, right? All agents have their own website, usually despite any brokerages. But obviously, um, if you're a brokerage leader or team owner on this and you have your own website for your team or your brokerage you can do these skill you can use these skills on that website just as much as any individual agent can go and use these exact same skills on their individual website and if everybody's working together if you guys are um effectively working on and using terms um you guys are actually helping each other out guide people back to your realty one group website so first and foremost you need a website uh, good news is um you already have one with realty one so next, you need that website connected to your Google Search Console. If you've never heard of that term before, what it means, no worries. I'm going to walk you through exactly what it is, and you'll be able to simply sign up your website on Google Search Console. I will tell you up front, one of the biggest ranking factors is your URL name, okay? I, um, with that, um, when you have your agent website, I know it's that long form, Realty One Group dot Scott Bergman dot blah, 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 when you, when you sign on, it will behoove you as agents to have your own URL or domain because on the back end, you can submit that domain through an inquiry on one suite okay. to the amazing back end staff that we, staff that we have, and they will help you 
change your agent landing page to that URL. It'll be the exact same page, but it'll have a new URL. And if you're, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a one up when it comes to URL. You really, I'm going to tell you up front, no matter how much your friends and family love you, they are not Googling you. They are Googling homes for sale or houses for sale, right? So when you're thinking of a URL I would, and, a, and you couple that with your farm, I would highly encourage you if you want to dominate um, South Hill, Washington, I only know that that is a subdivision in Spokane, Washington, because I was doing a little Google research before I jumped on this. Maybe you should be thinking about buying the URL that is homes for sale in South Hill, houses for sale in South Hill, homes for sale in Spokane, houses for sale in Spokane. So your URL is going to be really, really important. So you do want to do some URL research, but the good news is when we do some of this keyword research together, you'll be able to then take some of that keyword research, go to GoDaddy or whatever you buy, your, wherever you buy domains from or need to, and simply try to find the perfect domain for you. So it does benefit you to have your own URL name. You connect to the Google Search Console. Once you are connected to the Google Search Console, that allows you to see all the data that Google is gathering for your website, whether you like it or not. So you want to connect to the Google Search Console so at least you can be taking a look at the data and the information on your website. Basically, you get to find out what exactly people are searching that bring them to your website. So you connect it to your Google Search Console. I'll show you how to do that. And then that's when we effectively use Keywords Everywhere and ChatGPT together to then optimize our website. Right? But you need a website. You need to be gathering information on this website. And then we can use these cool tools to be able to effectively optimize our website. Okay, Introdu quick introduction to um, SEO, search engine optimization. When you go to Google and you type in a term, you are executing SEO. Google is so smart, um, it, it finishes your sentences for you, just like your, your favorite spouse does in your relationship, right? So when you go to type in something in Google, Google picks it up and says, suggests, you know what? You've had a long day. You don't need to type the whole sentence. We'll finish the other half for you, right? So it starts giving you options or terms. What that is is search engine optimization. They're taking a look at what you're up, what what you could potentially say, and giving you the most trending terms that you could use. And us being you know simple people, we click on on the sentence and we finish it out. You want to be in that pack. Your website, your content wants to be in that pack when someone starts searching in Google. So when you go to Google and you're searching, congratulations, you're already executing search engine optimization just for somebody else. I'm going to teach you how to use it for your, your website. Okay, big picture. You publish a piece of content, an article, a video, and doesn't matter. Your search engine spiders, they're actually called crawlers. They crawl your website. Google has them and a few other sources. They crawl your website. And they want to make sure that they're ranking the best content out there. So there's some very important factors that when your website is being crawled. SEO point blank, one is, is very in-depth. Two is very expensive. You can run your own Facebook and Instagram ads, but I guarantee people are paying big, big money to, to optimize their SEO when if they would just take the time like you guys did today, and learn a little bit about it, they could save themselves tons and tons of money and get super far in their content. So your website is crawled, you, your pages are indexed. What that means is when you add your website to the Google Search Console, that's when Google starts indexing your pages. Basically, think of it as you're putting your book now in the library and all of your pages within that book can then be read. So if your website isn't connected to Google Search Console, congratulations, you have an amazing book, but it's not in the library. We gotta get in the library. You put in the Google search console and now all the pages in that book, somebody could find and search. Does that make sense? Um, and ultimately, the higher that you rank, the, the more, more likely you are to show up on pages. After this presentation, I just like the last time, I'm going to email this presentation to Amy. And of course, she's going to um, go ahead and, and send it out. And of course, I'm always available for your questions. So let's talk about the Google search console. So in this presentation, I already hyperlinked this little thing to the Google Search Console. If you are doing the Google Search Console for the first time, simply click that slide that I was just on and it'll bring you right here. All you do, Google makes it really, really easy. You click start now and you go and sign up your domain. 
on Google. It's a couple clicks of the button. Remember when I talked about going and buying your own domain? You want to have that domain bought and transferred on your website before you do this part. Okay. So um, step before this is going and buying, your, potentially buying your own domain um, and then going to the main people at the one suite back end you can literally submit an inquiry or you can do the paid professional service and they will add your url in like a day to your new website um so here's your here's how you start on that google search console and you get your your web, website registered all right next slide okay this is what information you get from the Google Search Console. So even better than that, I'm actually going to jump out and show you a live view of my Google Search Console and break down kind of what these mean. So I use um, I use Real Geeks as a website provider. So it doesn't matter if you have the Realty One page, Boomtown, Real Geeks, irrelevant. All of it can be tracked on the Google Search Console. So if you take a look, this is my website and this is the traffic for the last three months. All right. I can take a look at how many impressions and clicks I've gotten on my website in the last three months, all the way to my average position from my ranking. So let's kind of break these down. Obviously, total clicks is how many people found my website and clicked it. Impressions showing up in somebody's face. How many times did I show up in people's faces all right, or in their top search? And then what is my average position in all of Google for some of my terms? All right, so you can get to take a peek, a quick peek at what your graph looks like and how well you are performing. This is completely free. You don't pay for this. Google offers it to you for free. They're like, look, we're already tracking that stuff. We might as well show you what we're looking at. So it kind of gives you a behind the scenes look on um, how your website's doing. So as I'm looking at my Google search console, I always like to take a look and, and sort by impressions because I want to see how often people are searching for certain terms. Right now, in the past three months, here are the most common terms that people are searching and being brought to my website. So remember when I talked about um, building landing pages and getting a URL that is specific to a city? Because that's what people are searching. And for those of you who are in um, uh, uh, on the with the RG Eclipse office, I did a little back end, houses for sale. There's two terms that are predominantly searched. I'm going to give them to you, and you just because you showed up. Houses for sale in, fill in the blank, homes for sale in fill in the blank. What I found really interesting and kind of on my end being really nerdy, it's really dependent on the city, whether houses for sale is dominant or homes for sale is dominant. But I'll tell you up front, those are the top two terms searched in almost any city I've ever reviewed. Homes for sale in, fill in the blank. Houses for sale in, fill in the blank. So what the, 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 problem, the problem that you run into is the big box companies like the Zillows and the Redfins and the Realtors, they've been doing SEO for years. So beating them down to those terms is going to take us a little while so we can start with doing some keyword research to kind of help us out. Now, what I like about this is because I have my website connected to the Google Search Console, I get to see what my website is ranking for, okay? So I'm going to make sure that I grab the terms that people are finding my website for and I create content and landing pages around those terms. Google's given me the information. I'm going to go and use it even more. If you are not attached to the Google Search Console, you have no idea how people are getting to your website and if they're even getting it. So here's a quick view of that Google Search Console, what it looks like, and a little bit of its understanding. What I, ha I have Keywords Everywhere extension turned on, and I'll show you what that is if you missed my last presentation. So normally, you, don't see, you won't see any of this stuff right here without Keywords Everywhere. It doesn't tell me the normal user, the volume, cost per click, competition, trends, et cetera. It only shows this stuff, which is still great information. But with the keywords everywhere extension that I'm going to show you and walk you through, um, you're going to see any and everything your little heart could desire. So not only do I get to see how much these terms are showing up in people's faces, I get to see the volume of these terms being searched nationwide. So when I'm making a selection on which terms to use because I've been looking at my website, Homes for sale, remember how I said it was the highest search term and one of the highest search terms in the nation? Well, I wasn't wrong. It searched on average 450,000 times in a month. These are monthly stats right here. So if you aren't putting the words homes for sale in blank, you're wrong. So use those terms in your content as often as possible in your blogs, 
in your videos, in any of your social media posts. Be using those terms because, like I said, lovingly, my mother loves me, but I guarantee she Googles homes for sale more than she does my name. I don't know. Maybe my mom does Google my name pretty often. Um, but make sure you're using these the terms that Google is giving you on uh, to, to, to help yourself out. So that in itself was the Google Search Console. How are we doing so far? No glossy eyes yet. Or maybe I'm missing them. I don't know. Um, next. Keywords everywhere. Okay. This right here is the tool to turn your chat GPT game to the whole nether level. You don't ever have to write another prompt again if you simply have this keywords everywhere extension. Okay. So keywords everywhere. Let's talk about it. Um, and so the extension is, and you can click the link that's in this presentation. And it'll bring you to keywords everywhere. It is like $19 in totality for like 100,000 queries. You're never going to use that much. Okay. Spend $19 for the year. You spend uh, uh, less, uh, you spend more on coffee every single month. Spend the 19 bucks for the year and it will absolutely change your chat GPT game and your SEO game. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, how to use it effectively um, to really take over the SEO world and just chat GPT in general. So um, it is a simple extension that goes at the top right of your screen, and I have it turned on all of the time. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you are able to use it. Okay, so analyzing Google. We all, all go to Google. We all search right, every single day for some answers um, to questions we either know, don't know, it doesn't matter. So Millard Housing Market. I'm going to go ahead and search that term. Do you see on the right of my screen how I have – um, some uh, like content boxes right here, okay? This is what you get when you are searching with the Keywords Everywhere extension. What, it, what does this stuff mean? What this means is it's analyzing not just the text that I put in there, but it's also telling me some long tail keywords, some similar keywords that maybe I should take a look at and use in my content as well. So if you notice, I've got long tail keywords here. It's giving me the volumes, the cost per clicks, and the trend. What this basically is saying is, Scott, if you were to make an election on any of these terms, additional terms in your content, make sure you're using this one because it's searched a thousand times and there's little to no competition. On top of that, if you notice under the searches, you can see some rankings. It's actually analyzing what my competitors are doing and how they're doing it, how long they've been in business, how many backlinks they have, how, much, um, how many times they're being clicked over me. So effective SEO looks a lot like this. This is my website. This is my face. So not only am I ranking my website content, I've got my YouTube videos. So if someone goes to the mode housing market, guess what? They only got to scroll just a little bit and then see my ugly mug and a video that I created about the mode housing market. This is how effective SEO could really take your business to the next level. Put you, it could put you on page one of Google, and that's where we all want to be. So um, when you are taking a look, I'm going to go back to that. I got I to move this screen here. There we go. You're, you're using keywords everywhere, and you can literally just start typing terms. If you have no idea where to start, you simply type in homes for sale in, uh, I think I saw someone had Santa Rosa, right? Okay, I went and searched that term right here because I have the keyword everywhere extension turned on. Let's see, it will give me some SEO here shortly. Home sale in Santa Rosa. That's Florida. We don't want Florida. I think because I have the camera on the extensions being goofy. But when you have it on and you're effectively searching those terms on your own, you will see the chat box and the trends. There we go. Perfect. So I went and searched a random term I've never searched before. This data right here tells me the seven-day trend, 30-day trend, three-month trend, 12-month trend of this search term. And it shows you the ebbs and flows. So, guys, it literally tells you what time on what days people are searching this term the most. That's crazy. That's crazy. No wonder all of the Google ads can show up in our face on every piece of content that we ever look at. They're really good, huh? You can get to a point where you at least have a level of understanding. So, all of these, all this information, you can actually copy and or export to a spreadsheet. And then you can grab that stuff and um, use it to create content. And I'll show you how to use this to create content here in just a, a few minutes. So you're going and searching certain terms and you're getting an idea of where you should be putting your time 
and effort. Homes for sale in Santa Rosa, uh, I'm assuming California, right? What Google did was tell me, hey, Scott, don't forget to go after these cities. I have no idea where these cities are. Um, Petaluma, California, Windsor, California, but something about those cities has people looking in them more often than others. So if you don't have landing pages on your website, if you serve Santa Rosa and you don't have landing pages for Santa Rosa, Petaluma, and Windsor, good news is I'm going to show you how to create the landing pages on your website. Okay. You should be creating content about those. Are you doing market updates about those specific cities? Are you creating social graphics about those specific cities? Are you having ChatGPT write you blogs about those specific cities? Because once you figure out the answer with SEO, then you just inundate your website and your social media with that content over and over and over. And if you're doing it effectively, it actually turns into a content strategy. If you know what cities to hone in to get more leads from, wouldn't you do it tomorrow? Absolutely, you would do it tomorrow. So your weekly content strategy is simply taking this city, whatever Petaluma is, and you're creating content about it. Maybe every single Monday you, you have a landing page that is only homes in that city, and you post that to your Facebook and your, your, uh, all your social media. Maybe on Wednesday you go into ChatGPT and you ask it to write you a blog about the best five places in Petaluma. And then maybe Friday you do a market update about that city. That, you could do that over and over and over again. That's your entire content strategy. And I promise you, you're going to see your, con your SEO rankings and your Google rankings just soar because you took the time to figure out the answers and you're actually using that information. Google really likes that. So do your keyword research first. Scott's little trick. You're either going to type in house for sale or home for sale. All right. So start there. I promise you, we can talk about realtor and real estate agent and how minimal this Google searches are for those as compared to homes for sale. It's really not worth your time, but organically you're going to end up ranking in those anyways. So you, you're doing your keyword research. We figured out that, okay, homes for sale in Santa Rosa, not a bad term, but there's some other terms that we could potentially use. So you can export these. You can click this star button and it actually saves them. So you don't have to remember which ones they were. And then what we do is we take this content or these terms and we turn that into content strategies for our marketing. Okay. How are we doing? So far so good. I fully expect everyone on this call to retain about 22% of what I'm saying. The good news is you can come back to this presentation and get the other 78%, who are my math people in here? 78% of the content and or shoot me a message and I have uh, no issue helping anybody out. So you use keywords everywhere on Google to go figure out what people are looking for. You, you go and take that content and then I'm gonna show you then how to go turn it into a marketing strategy and or landing pages on your website. I'm gonna move this thing again, keeps getting in my way. All right, um, where are we at? So we talked about, um, before I got in this presentation, literally when I say before, like six minutes before I jumped on this presentation, I went and Googled um, Spokane, Washington, homes for sale on Spokane, Washington. What it brought up for me was something about this South side area um, was a high level of search and a few other pieces. I can go if I wanted to, if I want to start a marketing business and start doing SEO for lots and lots of money for other people's website, I guarantee I could do it. I don't want to do that. I love real estate. I love helping agents succeed. So you guys are going to learn how to do that and do it for your website. Then you're going to tell your friends and realty ones going to dominate the world. That's pretty much the plan. So I may have given, I may have given, given the, the end state away. All right. So you've done your research. You've got your terms saved. Now comes the really fun part. This is when we use chat GPT and keywords everywhere to take that sentence and turn it into um, a content strategy, okay? So if I know, let me grab this, let me just show you to do it right from this term. If I know that I want to continue to use homes for sale in Santa Rosa as my um, term, but I'm going to go over to chat GPT. So then if you're on the desktop, your normal chat GPT interface, gosh, I keep having to move this thing. Your, new, your <laughs> normal chat GPT in, interface See on the left, you have your little chat boxes. Do you see at the bottom left here, there's a K? Can we see that? That is simply because I have the Keywords Everywhere extension on. All right? So I'm going to show you how cool this thing is. Amy, did you get Keywords Everywhere last time we talked? I have not gotten it. Oh, you need to get it. You're missing out. So what you do is when you click it, I'll, go to, I'll show you from a new chat. I'll go to a new chat. Um, and I click this template. And when, it, when you click it, it'll look like this. So let me break this down real quick. 
this right here is a prompt cre creator, not just any prompt creator, like a an in-depth prompt creator so that you never have to write a prompt again. Get keywords everywhere, point blank. Okay, so I have this keywords ever pulled up on my website. I'm gonna go ahead and click choose a category. It gives you a multitude of categories to start creating prompts with, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and for SEO, I'm gonna click SEO. A subcategory, this says, hey, do you wanna do some keyword research? Do you wanna do some e-commerce SEO, local SEO or on-page optimization? I'm gonna do on-page optimization because I'm thinking about creating a landing page about Santa Rosa, California. And then it says, great, what do you want me to write for you? So I'm gonna say, you know what, go ahead and just generate me a title for a landing page and a um, uh, description. All I did was put a sentence in there, my piece of content, and I click execute. So it went ahead and said, hey, pick your poison. All these right here can be titles to landing pages and descriptions, okay? These are SEO optimized title pages and descriptions. So I'm gonna take a quick second and show you a little bit more about specifically Keyword Zebra because that one was a hot item when I was on the last call. So what can, the, the question isn't what can you use Keyword Zebra for, it's what can't you use Keyword Zebra for, everywhere for. So I'm gonna go and open up a new chat and I'm gonna click templates. And I wanna go ahead and build a potential Facebook marketing strategy for that content. So I click social media, I click Facebook, I click templates, see this Facebook post calendar? Click, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna paste this here. And it says, what language do you wanna use? What voice tone? I like to use humorous because I, I think I'm funny. My kids think I'm funny, my wife doesn't. All right, writing style is conversational. Um, and I can type my audience. Amy, you have a question, what do you got? Uh, yeah, there's a question in the chat box just um, asking if you need to use Chrome to ensure that Keywords Everywhere works correctly. Mm -hmm. So Keywords Everywhere is a Chrome extension and a you know, Firefox extension. So I don't know if it's on any other um, browsers. So I know it works on Chrome and I know it works on, excuse me, Firefox. Um, so uh, all the other ones I don't really know. All right. Thank you. So go ahead. I just said thank you. So I'm telling it written, I'm humorous and conversational, right? I just went and pasted that same term that I was just using. And I'm gonna say, um, a thread is post, basically a post. I'm gonna say, give me three posts for three months. And I want it to be mm, home buyers. That's my audience, right? So I typed in my audience. It is literally giving me three potential posts um, the dates, and then the post idea and the description. So all I gotta do is go grab a little graphic and I've got my social media calendar already built. Facebook, well, what else can I use it for? So I'm on social media, uh, I go to YouTube, uh, cause if you're not putting out video content, you really should be putting out video content. Or TikTok, let's go to TikTok. All right, I can have it even create me a, uh, uh, script. My audience is, guess what, home buyers. Want it to be, I don't know, 30 seconds. Isn't that crazy? So nobody on this call has any excuse that they don't know what to put on the social media. Not only do you know what to put on social media, you, you don't even have to write it. You do this once in the morning. You just go and paste it on your website. Use your keywords everywhere like your um, like your assistant. So there is not much at all. You really can't mess up with this thing. You can play around with this all day, every day and find amazing solutions to anything that you ever want to to potentially write. Um, so we to stay on track with using it to optimize our web our websites. So if I want to go ahead and continue with my SEO journey, and I know that term that I want to use, um, on-page optimization. I already had it write me a meta, meta, title, meta title, okay? You can even have it by, uh, write you a piece of content. So I'm actually gonna have it write me, 
uh, what do I got here? A blog. And I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, just generate a whole blog. I'm feeling lazy today just from this topic. All right. Headings. So when you're, when you're optimizing your web page on um, your website, you, headings are a big deal. So you have your H1, H2, H3. The headings is your the size of the text on your um, web, web page. And Google actually picks up on that stuff. So what it's asking for is, hey, Scott, how many of those do you want? I don't want 20. I usually do just three. All right. So I asked this thing to write me an outline for a blog. And then it's actually writing me the whole blog. So uh, up to this point, what have I done? I went and did some uh, research with keywords everywhere on just a term. I took that term and I went back to chat GPT using keywords everywhere. I had it generate me a landing page title and description, and I also had it write me an entire blog, right? So what do I do with all that stuff? Um, if you're not posting blogs on your website, yet again, we, we need to work on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I've got uh, Realty One Group Eclipse page pulled up. I can't edit their page, right? But I'm gonna kind of walk through a land, I'm walk through your website and kind of tell you some stuff that you may need. I use Real Geeks as a provider. I have my Realty One Group website. I don't use it very often. I use it for demos and exercises and trainings like this. So um, obviously the, you've got your headers at the top. Those are created for you. And then you've got your page overall. I love that we've got the communities, the featured communities, featured listings, sold listings, et cetera. On my website, um, I've got some similar stuff, but if you notice, if I hover over my property search tab here, you see how it says houses for sale in all these cities? I created those, right? And they're really easy to do. From this training right here, if you rewatch this this uh, training, you're gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly right now how to create really, really simple um, pages. So people wanna see properties, yes? They don't wanna see my mug, they wanna see properties. They're, I may get to, they may get to see my mug if they pick, pick the right property. So I'm gonna go ahead and click um, houses for sale in Elkhorn. I am on the editor portion of my website. When you go into your one login and you click your one suite, you click website editor, right? That's how you get to your website editor for your web page. I can kind of go back. Do you see how it immediately pulled open properties in this city, a landing page for it? Okay. All I do is when I'm, I'll kind of show you from start to finish. I'm going to go on to my one login here. I'm going to go ahead and go to my, where am I at? One tweet. I am going to log in, and I'll sign on. Website editor. This one, this is being recorded, right? So they can go back yes. and watch it. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm in the editor version. I know because I've got this thing right here. All right. Um, so if I want to create a page, one, you're going to first identify the cities that you want to sell real estate in. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and for example's sake, I'm just going to type in a city in my um, search bar. I'm going to click that city. It's going to bring me to properties in that city. Yes, that's how people search properties in your website. Why aren't we creating landing pages for these cities? So this is now a landing page that is um, has all these properties, but it's not saved anywhere. It's just because something that I searched. When when I when I go and do this, and I'm going to create pages for my website. I am going going to um, I like the grid view. So I go and click grid view because it looks, people can just scroll. They can only do two things, scroll up or scroll down. And then they can click, make that three. They can click on a property. All right. So awesome. This is a great page. I want to make sure everybody in the world knows it's here. So I'm going to copy this. Okay. I copied it. I'm going to go back to my main page and I'm going to hover over this. You will have a button here that says new. Okay. You click new. Do, 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 do. Give me a technical pause. All right. So I can create a page up at the top here. I'm going to go ahead and name this houses for sale in the fill in the blank, whatever city that was. I think it was Lincoln. All right. I'm going to click other. I'm going to paste this link. Done. 
So it's going to go ahead and save it. Loading. Da, 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 da. They got a good joke while we wait. No. <laughs> All right. As it's, as it's loading, I'll kind of make my way back. What I'm doing is I'm nesting it. I'm putting it under my search bar so that if somebody says to me, um, hey, Scott, do it's, it's still loading. Hey, Scott, do you know any homes for sale in Lincoln or whatever? I have all these pages created. So see, I just refreshed. Now we've got where are we at Lincoln. So now on my front facing website. This is what it looks like. Lincoln. So now I've got landing pages all on my website for every city that I want. And all people have to do is click this city and they will go to a landing page on these properties. Does that make sense? So you need to be writing down the three cities or three areas that you want to be in. And all you have to do is go in, search those cities, copy that link and start creating pages for them. Because when you're working with leads and they say, well, I'm looking for homes in Gretna. I got you. You just grab that landing page and send it over to them. All right. For your content, you can grab those landing pages. And if you want to post uh, properties every week, like you should be doing, you're going to grab a city a week. And on every Monday, you're going to say, hey, look at these great homes in Omaha, Nebraska or wherever. And you're going to paste that link on your Facebook. All right. So that is how you create a simple landing page on one suite. Getting back to the blog, I get that question a lot. Hey, I know that I should be blogging. How do I create a blog? So. If you're in your website editor, all right, you hover over these settings here and you go to new blog. All right, I go ahead and let's let's see. I'm gonna write a blog about this, whatever this was that I got from ChatGPT. Um, that's my title, publish date today, posted by the one and only. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and click blog. I go to create. Okay, so now it's creating a little page, mm -mm -mm, but looks like looks like this. <laughs> I've already got my title. So remember that whole blog that ChatGPT just wrote for me? I'm going to go ahead and copy that whole thing. Wow, that's long. Um, anywho, when you're going to copy, if you're copying and pasting from ChatGPT, you would notice that if you just do a standard copy and paste, it keeps the gray, like the grayish back round on the terms and it just looks goofy, goofy when you paste it, I'm sure to fix that. So if I'm doing this right, um, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to click on my blog. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna click paste and let's see if it does this for me. I'll go back and boom. Okay, I got a blog. How easy was that? I managed to do three things at once. I'm a man, I just multitask. That's how easy it was. Okay, so in summary, we did a few things. We went and um, the Google search console, step one, buy your domain, okay? Lovingly, nobody can ever take that away from you. It's your domain. And when you think about, why do you, th why do you think I have the domain name buy Omaha houses? Because that's what people are searching. They're not searching Scott Bergman, not yet, all right? Soon, they will. But until then, they're gonna search buy Omaha houses. So buy a domain that is keyword specific. If you wanna be in a certain farm, if you want no one to take your farm away from you, the subdivision you're living in right now, do you own that domain? Well, you should because Zillow doesn't, Redfin doesn't, they don't care about it. So go and buy your own domain for a city that you wanna dominate, step one. Step two, getting your domain in the Google search console because Google is reading all the information you should be too, all right? Step three, you're getting keywords everywhere extension and you're using it to simply do your job for you besides write contracts, all right? Don't ask it to write a purchase contract and definitely don't use it. Um, so having this keywords everywhere extension on your chat GPT allows you to use it and abuse it for anything you can think of. And then you're gonna go and create landing pages and blogs about that piece of content. I did all that in, what, what do we got, 35 minutes? All right, your, your brain's probably throbbing right now. So you're gonna wanna watch this thing over and over and over again, tell your friends. Um, and this in itself should be your, your content strategy. I know I have questions and I know a lot of them are about either keywords everywhere or chat GPT. So 
I open the doors. What questions do you have? Uh, Scott, Janice had a question about, do you need a Google page before you can get on a Google search console? Um, you do not need a Google business page before you get on Google search console. However, you should definitely be having a Google business page. So I, um, if you don't have a Google business page, um, all you do is go ahead and Google Google business page and set yourself up a Google business page. If you do, um, let me see. So right here, my Google business page. So I'm registered on Google, um, you know, because I got that blue check mark for verified, right? And the good news is if you don't have a Google business page, it's really simple to set one up. And if you're using chat GPT and keywords everywhere, you don't even have to write anything for it because look at that social media. Where are we at here? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's content copywriting. Oh, it is SEO. Yeah, it is. Um, local SEO. Look at that. All prompts for a Google business page. Have your Google business profile. Or do your attributes. Do some Q&A. Do some post some content. So love the question because I love that we're thinking about that. You do not need a Google business page to use the Google search console. However, as an agent, have a Google business page. What else do we got? And you all can feel free to unmute yourselves to ask questions. You don't have to put them in the chat box. I have another question. Our company, we don't use the ROG website. Mm -hmm. They use um, what we received was the one from Sync. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I Go think ahead. it's locked down, so I don't think we can do anything with it. You definitely check with your admin of your website and whoever's overseeing that. I don't use the Real Do One Group website. I use a uh, I use Real Geeks. It's super super easy to use. But the question you need to ask to whoever does your admin is, how do I post content on the website? Because it doesn't matter if you have minimal access. I.e., you can post a blog. Like some sometimes it's locked down so much where you can simply post a page or a blog you should still be creating content and posting blogs so the question is what can i do on my website um because having it completely unlocked gets overwhelming i can tell you as somebody that um is creating pages all the time simply ask how can you and if not like lovingly um domains are really cheap all right and, well, so, I, have a do I have a domain I'm, from atlanta so i yeah. have the domain it's just I don't have, I can't, I have to use their domain. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The, there's, I'd be, the question that I'd be asking in your shoes is, what can I create? Am I able to create a blog? Am I able to create a landing page? What do I have access to? You don't need access to everything to be effective with this. You simply do need the ability to be able to post content. And if, are you using Sync Pro? Uh, they are. Yep, yeah, so I, I am, I came from Sync Pro over to Real Geek. I know at the base level, you can create pages. Um, okay. So um, I would go, there's tutorials on Sync. They have some pretty good tutorials. Go and search the tutorials on landing pages because I do know you can create pages if, okay. even at the base level. Yep, no problem. That's a great question. What else we got? It's got, can, can you show us the on ChatGPT how to install the um, extension? Keywords. So um, if you have the extension, if you get keywords everywhere, it will directly ask you, do you want to add it as an extension? So right. all you do is you click yes, and it will sit here. It will sit nested right here. So if I click this right now, it tells me that it's on. So if I go to, let me go kind of from the beginning. So I'm keyword, if I'm in keywords everywhere, the website, when you go install for Chrome, it will prompt you to add extension. Oh, okay. Yep. And then you go and add the extension, legit pay the 20 bucks to get the hundred thousand credits because it unlocks everything. That's what unlocks these prompts on the back end. So it's well worth like 20 bucks for the year. So then you add it and it's always going to be sitting here in your extension. You don't need to turn it on or off. Um, it's going to always stay on while you're Googling. If then what you'll notice, if I turn it off, if I'm here and I don't have it on, I can tell you the difference. So, um, I have it off right now. I go ahead and refresh my search. Let's see, give me a second. Boop, 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 deep, pop, pop. I, have, I have SEO minion, which is another one. As you notice, I don't see the keywords everywhere data right here. That's how I know it's off. If I simply want it on, I click and I turn it on. Think. 
Um, and when you have it on, you're also noticing chat GPT. You don't need to install it. This automatically pops up. Does that make sense? Um, what else we got? Any other? And you said you Good have questions. the silver plan? Uh, uh, so what, what's that? You have the silver plan? Yeah, I believe so. Which, whichever one is the one step up, I think. I think I had the... I think I had the silver plan. I may have went upgraded, but I did just fine with the silver plan for quite some time. If you're not building three to five landing pages a day like I am, you don't need anything bigger than that. So um, all great questions. You can mess around in, in keywords everywhere forever and never have to write another prompt. I mean, we're talking everything from, uh, let's see here, copywriting, what do we got? Sometimes it gets goofy. Copywriting, marketing, tons of stuff being goofy um but get it on your chat gpt so you never have to ask a silly question to chat gpt again it gives you an amazing prompt let's see what we got okay good so email writing landing pages remember i talked about creating landing pages you don't got to write them you can just have it created course writing content writing book writing that's nuts that's crazy it's scary but other people are using this to their advantage you might as well too um in my presentation I have images of the prompt that I was using. So I used SEO on page optimization, meta title and description, and I put in the term here. So you'll be able to go to this presentation and be like, man, what did that guy say? He talks so fast. You'll have images and screenshots of the exact piece of content that I used. If you don't remember how to create a page, great news. I took screenshots. I, I Scott prepped this training because I, I just go on a roll. So I got to make sure I put the, the resources physically on the training or I'm gonna leave you guys hanging. So I went and created graphics, like, hey, how do I create a landing page? Well, you click this hit button here, click new, and this is where you put the stuff, all right? Um, and then uh, we talked about utilizing keywords everywhere to, to optimize our landing pages. Conclusions and next steps. You're gonna get a domain if you don't have one. You're gonna figure out how you create landing pages on your website. You're gonna um, put your website on Google Search Console and you're gonna get the keywords everywhere extension. Then you're going to come back to this training and you have all the tools at your resources. So um, I just finished up my coaching certification with real to one. Um, and so I've, I'm starting to sign agents up for coaching nationwide. Um, and I'm super, super excited about it. If you knew my, if you know my background, which is social work in a perfect world, don't get me wrong in five years, if I'm selling real estate, that's fine. But I, I want to be leading a coaching agent. It's the reason I actually didn't elect to build my own team is because I'd rather coach agents and then, build a team and, and feed agents. I want, I want people to learn and grow. So I'm going to be doing these webinars more often to, uh, to more offices, more brokerages, and I'm going to be making my way around helping agents and leaders throughout the nation. So I'm beyond elated and excited. If you want to talk about getting coaching yourself, this QR code right here, you can go ahead and scan it, fill out a little form, um, and there isn't much that I don't feel I can help most agents with their business. So shameless plug there. Um, what other questions did you guys have? All this good? was fabulous, Scott. Thank you so much for joining us again today. My my pleasure. My pleasure, absolutely. Um, obviously, Amy will have this training. She'll have the video. If you want to take a look at, I was on Waking Up to Win. When was it? A month and a half ago. A month and a half ago. A month ago. Um, if you go and do the one university and you just simply type in chat gpt you'll see my face pop up because i did a whole training on chat gpt and using keywords everywhere there too so don't worry there's going to be a bunch more training coming out about chat gpt and ai um from yours truly throughout the the next year so i'm super excited it was june 28th Anything else? awesome it thank you june, thank you thank you just because june we've been sharing that with all of our uh, our agents Good. That that makes me super, super excited because I, the complexity that is technology um, has just been made so easy with AI and it is absolutely my pleasure to put that technology in people's hands. So um, I'm so excited that that training went as well as, as it did. Um, and I look forward to hopefully doing even more of AI content and, and waking up to win. Yeah. Anybody who hasn't seen that yet, I mean, my broker texted me after he listened to it because I had listened to the first half of it and then we had to jump off. But he said, 
have you listened to the whole thing? Oh my God. And it, so we got into a whole conversation about uh, how he is using it to redo the, the website for the, uh, for the company and his bios everywhere. And so uh, yes. he actually oh, texted me, he actually texted me this about this training and he's like, I can't be on it. Can you be on it for me? So mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes me so happy right now. Point blank. Here's the deal. AI is here and it is not going anywhere. And lovingly, you guys are amongst the few that are stepping in front of the eight ball and using it effectively. And I think chat GPT mixed with, because the most confusing thing in chat GPT is how do I talk to it, right? Like, what do I say? With keywords everywhere, you don't gotta worry about that anymore. The, the, you need to be focused on making contacts, setting appointments, writing contracts and closing transactions, point blank. Everything else is not the highest and best use of your time. Let AI take care of all those pieces of your business. So go in there, get your content calendar built. From that content calendar, have it create all your posts, right? Have it write blogs. Start setting your tempo and putting yourself out there in the world so that more people come to your landing page or your website and want to do more transactions with you. Um, so use AI to your benefit. I'm, I'm so glad that that training went over as well as it did. And I, and I um, hope the opportunity to, to bring even more. So anything else? Last minute I'm questions on... AI. Real yep. quick on on Chat GPT, you just mentioned a uh, bio. How would it know your to to do a bio? Like, how would it know your background? I mean, what do you have to feed it? So, what what I would do is you grab your previous bio. Let's see here. I think it's in is it copywriting. It might be marketing. I would specifically go to. Uh, let me think. Uh, it would be SEO. I like using the local SEO for the bio. And then this optimize your Google business profile is what it will do is write you a relative, a keyword based bio. So what you should do is grab your old bio and mm -hmm. I would use this, this specific prompt right here. And you just paste in your previous bio okay. and it will rewrite, rewrite it. And if you don't like it, do you notice at the top, right? The K again, the K is down here and the K is down here. This is a quick go-to to ask keywords everywhere to either please continue, clarify, expand, Explain, rewrite, shorten, tweetify. I don't even, do people use Twitter anymore? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but this would be a good one to go and optimize your bio. And here's the deal. Take that bio and that should be your exact same bio on your website. Google likes knowing you're saying stuff the same. So all of the websites that you have in your landing pages are connected to, uh, connected to Google already. You want to make sure that your bio reads the same. So if you've got a bio on realtor.com, on uh, um, wherever, Fast Expert, doesn't matter. Make sure they all read the same because you're helping yourself rank by repeating the same keywords in your bio over and over and over again. So I'd go here first to Google the optimization, put my bio in there, have it rewrite it, and I'd take that bio and put it everywhere that I could. What else we got? Any other, any other specific questions? Good, 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 good. Awesome. Um, I am more than available, obviously, to all agents on this call and others. Um, Amy, I will send you this training right before I leave the office after this call. Um, and of course, if anything pops up or you've got any other um, topics that you want me to cover, I'd be more than happy to do that in future trainings. Perfect. Thank you so much again, Scott. Fabulous. Awesome. My pleasure. All right, all. I'll see you soon. All right. Thank you.